With code switching, there's a, a debate going on about whether something is deemed professional or whether it denies somebody the opportunity uh, to be authentic. And so, um, so if I come in, if I come into work and I'm talking like this and um, I just want to express myself because that's how I do it at home and that's just how it goes, you get me, yeah. Is that unprofessional? Many people would say it is. I'm not finishing my words. Um, I have a, um, yeah, they might deem my accent as very urban. But who decides what professional is? Where are the boundaries? Who created that idea of the way of speaking in the workplace being professional? And so I'm not coming to any conclusions in this video. It's more for you to think about or to debate, uh, continue the, the debate around what is professional. It goes, it speaks also to hairstyles. So in particular in America, but it's also happened in the UK, when many black people wear their natural hair, or we wear our natural hair, sometimes as, as Afro or as Afro puffs, as I would give my daughter, it's deemed as not neat and unprofessional. Well, our hair grows up like this. It doesn't grow flat down. It doesn't, we have to manipulate our hair to grow, to, to look, to be flat. So then again, who is deciding what is professional? So when we're talking about code switching, it is about people feeling the need to maybe wear hair extensions in the hair so the hair goes down or wear um, the weave so it's straight like European hair or maybe it's um, being completely defiant and wearing a big afro. Um, but yeah, there's a whole debate to be had around that. So I'd just be interested to know your thoughts.